Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the user interface of Proxy1, focusing mainly on the filtering traffic and reporting interfaces of the product. So um, after the initial configuration wizard, um, you'll come to this user interface, which is the main interface for Proxy1. And it's pretty simple. There's only uh, three areas you can go to here, filter traffic, configure device, and view reports. So we're going to focus, like I said, on the filtering traffic and the reporting interfaces. So filtering traffic is where you're going to want to go to either apply an acceptable use policy by further blocking multiple categories or by adding exceptions for users that uh, need to have override on the blocked categories. So by default, we automatically are blocking phishing, proxy avoidance, spyware effects, privacy concerns, spyware malware sources, and, and suspicious sites. We feel that this is uh, best practice to block these default categories. What's nice about this interface is you can mouse over on any of these categories and it gives you a short description as well as some example sites. That's really helpful when you want to determine uh, what's, what, what kind of these sites you want to block. So blocking is a simple uh, checkbox. It turns red. You can also recategorize the order uh, based on blocked or alphabetical. So that's pretty uh, simple for how you can block category URL categories. There's also a um, allowed URLs and blocked URLs, which allows you to create your own lists of allowed and blocked URLs. You can also bulk import. And then also in here is the exceptions for when you need to create exception groups to allow certain users uh, specific policies other than the global policy that, of the checked categories on the, on the top. We'll have another video that will go into this in detail on the Proxy1 channel, and that's youtube.com slash proxy1. So now let's go into the uh, uReports user interface. We need to log in. So right away, the dashboard is going to show you some really useful statistics on blocked threats and uh, user traffic uh, trends. And this is really useful for, for showing the value of this product. Um, you know, this is just one user actually just going through a couple of sites on here. And we can show that WebPulse uh, stopped 15 uh, phishing attempts and seven sites that could have had uh, spiral malware on them. So this is really useful to show here what sort of things are getting protected on your network as well as some other useful uh, traffic information. What are the top sites that people are going to? What are the categories they're in? And then also, if there's a client that has been going to malware sites quite often, uh, it'll show up as a potentially malware-infected client. This is useful for the help desk to go and clean that machine or figure out what's going on there. So this dashboard is really useful to get an overview of what's really going on in your network from a security and traffic perspective. But there's also other reports on the reports tab that let you really drill down and do almost anything that's going on in your network. Time-based reports, user and IP, different sites. So really useful to be able to drill down into your network and figure out what's going on here. So that's it for the uh, Proxy1 user interface. Very simple and easy to use. And hope this video helped out.